Hi guys, I am Zura and today we are going to have another tank review. I brought you the review of a Soviet Tier 9 heavy tank. Yes, I'm talking about OBJ 705, a rear turret mounted monster inside scraping, I suppose, but just before seeing how this Russian beast can do, can work on Imasdorf, that is hmm, a real nice environment for this type of tank. Let's go and check how it stacks in comparison to the other of the same class, of the same tier, of the same nation. Yes, I, I have taken all the Russian tier 9 heavy tank. And you can see a couple of OBJ705 just because this tank has uh, two different guns and both of them are a nice choice. Yes, I'm talking about 122mm gun boomstick. Yes, the same boomstick of the uh, OBJ257. And you can also use the 130mm coming directly from the IS-7. In the same comparison, I have brought other Russian tank that can share something related gameplay. I have taken away STI because just just because STI has uh, eight degrees of gun depression, it can be considered a, a yule downer and a sand scraper too, but a, a yule downer. So the play style is different. And I have put in the comparison here the German uh, rear mounted turret, the DK 4502B, just because I think that this tank is the closest in play style with the OBJ705. Okay, we can see that DPM, concerning DPM, the OBJ705 does really good with a small gun. The penetration is okay, is standard. Someone do a little bit better, but it's not bad at all. The alpha damage is not bad at all, 440 and 490 with the uh, biggest gun. Uh, like the, the the German one and then we can see that with the small one you can use APCR a standard round that has fantastic shell velocity on the other gun you have only AP for standard and APCR with premium yes let's go with the premium round if you are in trouble the small gun can use it it round with 315 and APCR with the biggest gun. So for what concerning firepower, I'm going to suggest you probably to use and play the OBJ705 with the smallest gun because there's something better in DPM, something better in penetration, and way better in shell velocity with a standard round. Yes, shell velocity is really important. Now let's go and check the gun handling because we want to know which type of gun fits better in this tank. And for the gun handling, both guns do almost the same job, but the bigger one has very worse accuracy compared to the other one. So after seeing firepower and gun handling, I'm going to suggest you 100% to use the small gun. Because I believe that can do better in many situations, close combat and range in ranged combat. Okay, the other gun um, T10 has a better overall gun handling and gun, but not by far, not by far. Um, I'm talking of a tank that can go closer to the enemy, so the gun handling is not disappointing at all. For what concerns mobility bad news just because the mobility of this tank is not so good uh, forward speed okay reverse speed okay what is really disappointing is not the power weight that can be okay-ish but the tank traverse the tank is really sluggish 25 degrees only the vk the german monster is more sluggish than this one and the turret rotation is pretty standard so beware beware when you are facing a fast tank or medium tank because you can get flanked pretty easily okay now let's go and check the armor and health 
F is standard, just a little bit more than the other guys. The turret values are amazing, but even OBJ257 has monster value for the turret. But the Russian turret are pretty damn good. Even T10 with 250 is very good because the armor layout is well rounded and sloped. But uh, we are interested in the Yule armor, 155 millimeters on the front, 19 of the side, 19 is not is not a big value for a side scraper. T10 do way better, uh, and the uh, 257 do way better, and the VK too. And I have said at the beginning of the review that this tank seems to be very very good in side scraping, but don't get fooled. 90 millimeters with the correct armor layout can do more than you expect. View range, uh, not so good, not so bad. Yes, yeah, it's better than the other tanks. Fire chance is standard. Let's go and check the suggesting equipment. Ventilation, gun rubber, vestica stabilizer. Of course, I don't pay too much attention on the view range on this type of tank because I believe that this tank love to be in close combat and now let's check the armor layout when you are facing this tank frontally you have a very thick well armored turret all around the turret is unbelievable never shoot at a turret facing at a turret only some i believe that only some premium rounds from super nasty tier 10 tank destroyer can go through the cheeks, otherwise don't try to shoot the turret, okay? You are wasting time, bullet, and so on. The upper plate, not bad at all, because it's pretty damn sloped. And when you in encounter this tank on the flat ground frontally, the weak spot is the most obvious one, the lower plate. But this guy has a rear mounted turret, and the side scraping is his speciality, yes. Okay, the side scraping is pretty damn good in this tank because we have spaced armor on the side, the Yule armor is sloped and so on. But beware, you can do really well in side scraping or bath at all. The better solution is to stay a little bit higher than your opponent using your gun depression at the best okay this is the real side scraping position take a building my face is a building cover your lower plate and you have the side scraper 300 on the upper plate unbelievable out of bounds and the turret it's amazing Probably this tank can hold in this position every tank in the game. It's a real monster, no weak spot at all. Only HE, HE shell can damage this monster in this position. But pay attention, if the enemy is a little bit higher than you, here comes the trouble because when you're facing tier 10 and tier 9, premium round can go through. All your tank if you are using on if you are side scraping on flat ground and a taller tank like E100. An E100 on flat ground probably can see your armor in this way. An E100 with premium rounds can go through reliably on your on your cheeks, on your apple uh, armor cheeks. So pay attention. The side scraping is very, very complex. You have to always place this tank in the correct position. Otherwise, I have met a lot of problems in making the armor work at the best. But now let's go and see how it performs on Imersdorf. Yes, of course, I'm trying to run in the best EV position. I know that on the other side we have a lot of EV tank and the only one that scares me is the Japanese type for EV just because with the monster HE gun can damage me 
even in a perfect side scraping i believe that nothing then nothing can take me out of this position only artillery and he round and here comes the first guy he 100 he 100 can use he round so it's pretty dangerous okay i, I know that my standard penetration is not enough i'm going with premium round to uh, damage the cheeks uh, i have bounced apcr from sti it 335 340 millimeter penetration coming from e100 so and here comes the type my nemesis i have to be really really cautious i don't want to get shooted by the he gun of the type so premium round on the type 4 ev i need to kill type 4 and then the other guys uh, are not a problem because i'm the big boss of side scraping here okay my first mistake i have i have made a wrong a wrong oh, sorry i have placed the tank in the wrong position frontally upper plate premium round coming from the sti go through my armor i need to side scrape so i change position perfect side scraping and now here comes again sti is pretty damn dangerous in that position because he's a, a, a really good yield downer but the turret of the sti was changed uh, was changed i don't i don't remember really well a couple of patch ago uh, i'm uh, trying to take away uh, type 4 EV and now I'm seeing that probably type 4 EV has the small gun uh, so no more fear from HE round and I'm using a premium round to go through the turret of the STI um, just before uh, I, I don't remember a couple to, to a couple of patch ago the turret of the STI was remodeled now is smaller with different angles but, but it's thinner and the cupola it's it's yeah it can be considered a weak spot in the previous time the turret of the sti frontally was one of the most most strong and tough turret in the game and now i can push i can stay you down i can show only my monster turret and my gun with premium rounds of uh, 350 millimeters of penetration can destroy all the other guys that I'm facing. No one, no one can stand. Okay, nice job of the E100 that put in its round through my side armor. Just remember, this tank has only 90 millimeters of side armor. That is not enough. Another enemy. But my premium round can go through the roof of the Kairnarvon. And this is why I prefer this gun compared to the 130mm. Because the 130mm of the IS-7 use APCR as premium rounds. And APCR can bounce with an angle, with an angle of 60 degrees, of 70 degrees of more while the it shell bounces only over 85 degrees so uh, you can use super fast standard apcr with normal combat and when you are in trouble and when you need rough penetration this gun is way better than the other one now i speeding up the replay another really good shot in t95 i have uh, fired at the cupola and now i need to take him away another shot in the cupola the gun is not accurate i I've, I've decided to use an he but but the, the bullet goes go down and so okay t95 is a pretty tough opponent uh, and the gun is not is not so accurate it's not chairman but okay for now uh, this tank have done a really good job soaking damage and punching 
And now I can go. Let's speed up the replay just a little bit. Uh, I have just said that this tank is pretty damn slow. I'm asking help on the mini map. All the other guys are strolling around on the other side of the map. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I'm decided to go and kick the last two bat that are camping on uh, the upper part of Imesdorf. And I have to be. I have to pay attention just because I have few HP. Oh! Strivagen! Strivagen is pushing me! One in my. Oh! I am dead. I'm utterly dead. Okay. This is my fault. I have. Uh, <laughs> I have shown my lower plate, and those two guys always took the chance to shoot in my. In my weak spot okay but the battle is going to an end just because my friend are closing the cap so i was compelled to rush too much but well this is a victory okay let's go and check the post game stat holy fs glass only fs class is not a particular fantastic battle but we have seen all the highlights of this tank Close to 5k damage, some damage soaked by the armor, something go through the armor. In other situations, the armor works really well, and this is the key point of this tank. I believe that this tank is good, but I'm not good in using it. Because sometimes I've made wonderful battle, and sometimes I've made awful battles. Because I have placed the tank in the bad position. This tank is really difficult to use because the side scraping is all fantastic or nothing. So I'm quite, I don't know. I can say that this tank is good. Yeah, I believe the tank is good and I believe I'm not good enough for him. So I'm going to close the review saying that I believe the tank is good, play it, enjoy it. I can say that the first gun, the smallest one, is better than the big one. And uh, the review close here, because I am keep learning on this tank. But I hope that my thought about the tank can be useful for someone. Okay, for this review we have done. Zura is greeting you everybody. Let's see you at the next review here on YouTube. Don't forget to leave a thumb up. Thumb down, uh, write whatever you want, your comment about this tank, if you know the, a better way to play it, uh, well, whatever you want. We are seeing everybody on the next view here on YouTube, or keep uh, keep coming on my Twitch channel while I'm live streaming. I'm really happy to meet you, everybody, on Twitch. Bye, guys. See you next time.